Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 23rd of September and we have new mods and we have a load of updates. The updates are as follows. From the top left, the Veltra A134 Brazil by Farm Centro Sul, the Arado Lizard 18x28 by Conta Camigo Modding Farm Centro Sul and Jose Tonsis, um, the New Holland's C232 Custom by Blauer, the Lizard 180 by Conta Camigo Modding Farm Centro Sul Wag, um, the Racking Storage by Missy B, it's new to console, that is the update, um, Grain Storage by Nismo, uh, the Fence Pack by Stefan1997 The John Deere 47554955 Pack by AAA Modding uh, Westbridge Hills by Vanquish081 The NMC Scarrock Pack by North Modding Company That in essence is a new mod, we're going to be having a look at that And the Massey Ferguson 5700S by Blower have all had updates today So the two mods in there which are new one is new to console, the other, I mean, yeah, both are. We'll get onto those in a little while, they're going to be part of the mods. Uh, we're going to start off with what's in front of me. This is the Pack Bunker Silo Covered. This is by Ideal3D. We have got two bunker silos covered, one on its own, one with a shed kind of building built onto it. But you can also get the barn building separate, so it depends how you want to go about doing that. Uh, the capacity of these bunker silos, and you don't often get the capacity given to you, is 240,000 litres on each of these. Um, they are seasons ready. Um, so, the first one, let's open up the help window, just so you can see, but there you go, it is... Uh, okay, that's interesting. Um, that was working a minute ago. Why am I getting nothing coming up? That's odd. So that one is showing as a bunker silo. And this is the bunker silo with attached building. This one isn't. It should be. Who? That could be a bit of a problem. I'm glad I checked that one first. The detail of these is fantastic, but that could be a problem. Um, oh, right. <laughs> That's just throwing a bit of a curveball at me. Um, they are four slots each for the um, two bunker silos and then the shed barn building. The barn building on its own has sliding doors, plenty of space inside light switch is just there for the lighting inside the other end I had a little bit of trouble getting to work on the other one um, but I had to come if I came right at it at 90 degrees against the wall I got the trigger come up like that but if I came at it this way on I just got the open door trigger so like I said, depends how you come at it but we do have lights in here nice size building nice detailing nice texturing on this pack completely uh, and like I say that one comes with it next to it. that's <laughs> yeah that's really thrown me oh that may get an update then <laughs> we will see right these you will find these you will find and the placeables under silos so there we have the silo covered bunker with shed 75 grand four slots the bunker silo covered which is the one i can't get to work i can't get anything to come up with that is 35 grand but also four slots and then for the other part of this is under sheds which is separate 60 grand and also four slots um so i say that may well get an update then um right moving on from there we have got i'm, I'm going to get i'm going to do the buildings first and we'll get to the vehicles we've got seed refill points we've got fuel tanks we've got shelving we've got all sorts today um this sorry i don't run straight up to it this is the brick barn this is by onkel 3101 really nice detailed great texture in small doors to the side large door sections in the middle although that is a bit of a yeah you can have one or the other and that door so realistically you would only open and close those which would slide across in front of those doors 
you wouldn't open those first because as you saw the door then would just slice through the side ones so yeah you do these ones first we do also have lights in here there is a light switch where was it there we go there you go nicely lit and really nice detail inside as well very nice building Sorry, that'll drive me mad if I leave that on. Lights off. So, this you'll also find under placeables, under sheds. The brick barn's 10,000 to buy. It's nine slots. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. Moving on from that, we've got this, more Lone Oakery. We have got the Lone Oak Decorations Pack by G-Force Modding, Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, Lone Wolf. There are seven buildings, six buildings, no, there are seven buildings, and the windmill. Um, so, the buildings go, I think I put them down in order. Uh, we have two slots, two slots, two slots, six, 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 and then the wind turbine, windmill, um, is seven slots and the windmill will pay you a certain amount of money per hour so if you place the windmill um, you will either get 200 on easy 150 on normal or and 100 on hard um, and then we've got various different barns and buildings from lone oak farm as decorative packs doors and things don't open on these they are just down as buildings to place but again nicely detailed Nice additions to have if you're, if you're building up a farm area and you just want a little shack or a building or something like that to to put down. We've got a green one of these and then a standard wooden one. So, these you will find. Under decoration, you will get the decorative ones. So the rusty wooden barn the old rusty barn and the old wooden barn are two slots each then the small tool shed tool shed green farm shack and wooden farm shack are six slots each and then when you place the first one of each the slot counts drop on them anyway and then for the wind turbine i think that's under miscellaneous there we go lone oak windmill nine thousand to buy that's actually not too bad for what you get per hour on that that's not too expensive like I say, that's seven slots. So, yeah, not too bad, that. That's the Lone Oak Decorations Pack by GeForce Modding, Auction David, Bullet Bill, and Lone Wolf. Moving from there, we have got... Uh, which is the next one? This is the li Lizard Diesel Tank. So a slightly raised diesel tank. Uh, this is by Sloitches Modding. It will use five slots. It's got a 2,000 litre capacity. You don't need to fill it up as 2,000 litres. That's actually interesting, though. Or is it just it's the 2,000 litre one? So I'm just thinking, if surely when that runs out you don't have to just replace it. I assume it's just a fuel point. In which case it seems odd that it says, well I suppose it's just the tank size isn't it? That tank would hold 2,000 litres in the real world. Nicely detailed. Um, this was also under, I'm sure this was under miscellaneous, placeables and miscellaneous. There we go, 2,750. The fuel tank can be placed on a small footprint on your farm. Save the long way to the next fuel station. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really nice detailed. Another nice addition. Doesn't take up a lot of room, which is handy. Um, that's by Slutches Modding. Moving on from there, we have got these. These are placeable refill tanks. We've got a fertiliser, a uh, liquid fertiliser. Um, and seed tank. Actually, I haven't tried solid fertiliser on this one yet. I tried with the trailer and couldn't get it to work at all, but the liquid fertiliser in a tanker worked no problem. Really kind of rusty, old looking. Um, these are by Pushcap. They're only one slot each, actually, these, to place. Um, the seed refill was right around the front here, which wasn't too much of a problem at all. I'm not saying, yeah, I mean, they do what they say they do they, they'll refill your seed and fertilizer um these were under i think these were miscellaneous as well i, I normally write it down on my list so i don't get confused about where all the mods are but i didn't today 
Yes, they are. There we go. So the seed tank um, is 7,500 and one slot. And yeah, there it says liquid fertilizer tank. That's why it wouldn't take. It wouldn't give me any solid fertilizer. Um, you can refill your sprays at this tank. Refilling will cost you a higher price price for liquid fertilizer than buying on a pallet at the shop. So it is a little bit more pricey. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it says it will cost you a higher price for seed than buying it in big bags in the shop. It depends which ones you get. There are so many different mods available now. Um, that may be the case, may not be. But anyway, they are the Lizard Refill Tanks by Pushcap. Very handy, which we're going to actually use them in a second. Or use one of them, because we're going to have a look at these next. Um, now, this was one of the updates. But the update for this was new to console. This is the Racking Storage by Missy B. Uh, we've got two separate sets of racking. Uh, one set of racking has a maximum load of 8,000 kilograms. What? Hang on a minute. Oh. I don't understand. See, this is where life gets confusing and it shouldn't be. In the, in the store, in the mod hub, it says first rack maximum weight 5,000 kilograms, second rack maximum weight 8,000. One of these racks says it's designed for front loader tools and implements. The other one says it's designed for pallets and things, although both of them say 8,000. I definitely put one of each down to make sure, but it's just racking for placing your items and objects and things like that. Then the third set in here is actually a storage facility. Um, the racking stuff is already there, and you've got a drop-off point and a pick-up point. I thought one was for one, one was for the other, but this takes all sorts of stuff, so that's why you've got one for unloading into it, one for collecting. This will hold 80,000 litres of various different um, things. Uh, liquid fertiliser, seed, um, solid fertiliser. We'll have a look at a second in the store. Um, these will use uh, one slot, one slot, two slots. So not too bad, really. Um, did I say they're by Missy B? They are by Missy B. I think I probably did. But. Um, so the silo itself is under placeables, under silos. Seed storage is only 8,500 for 80,000 litre capacity, and it will do solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, lime, herbicide, um, and seed. So pretty handy, really, when you think about it. 80,000 litres of each of those for 8,500. Um, now, I'm pretty sure it does say... Where are we? I'm just looking to my right. It doesn't say it here, but on the website it says the only way to fill this is by trailer and tanker. So if you are going to do various different things, you may need to use the Missy B tankers. I know on Six Ashes GB Modding has put a tanker pack in. On this particular map, No Man's Land, on a lot of Alien Jim's maps, he often puts tankers in. Um, so it's going to depend on which ones will actually work. So what I'm going to do is grab this. We're going to grab some seed from the refill point. Into a trailer. Not too much. This side of it here is where you unload. So it comes up with your overloading. And if you go through to the other one, this side of it, if you press L3, comes up with your option to go through whichever you've got. Seeds, fertilizer, lime. Oh yeah, because liquid fertilizer won't go into a trailer, will it? And then press start and it will fill up, or it will fill up your cedars or sprayers or whatever it is. But to put it into here, you're going to need a tanker or a trailer. So I'm assuming by that it won't take it from pallets. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Uh, what I will do is stop that there. The other two racking was found under placeables miscellaneous. Too many mods to keep up with. There you go, large racking system. So that says racking for front loader tools, 501 slot. Large racking system, store pallets of seed, fertilizer, or bale twine. Again, 500. Um, yeah, so that's weird. I don't know why it says they're different weights in the 
website mod type. It could be a typo, but anyway, so that's where you'll find them under placeables under miscellaneous. So they're by Missy B. Moving on from there, we have got this. Um, this is the um, New Holland T7S series. This is by Blauer. Um, very good quality tractor and vehicle mods by Blauer. Um, this will use 30 slots. Very nicely detailed. Now this only goes up to a 215 horsepower. I know a t the T7, you can get a T7315, but this is not the larger, the higher end of these. This is the lower end um, of the engine horsepowers, but very nicely detailed mod. We've got a couple of other T7 mods knocking about. Um, but I do like the stuff by Blower. So, this you'll find under vehicles, under um, medium tractors. So you go, the T7S series. Um, we can change the rim colour from white to blue power, fear agri and black. Uh, we can, actually what I'll do is, because we've already got the blue power one, come on. Let's go with the Fiat Agri one. Um, design colour, we can have blue power, and that's for the grill at the front, or we can have Fiat Agri. So I'm going to go with the Fiat Agri. Oh, I've changed the tyres, sorry I didn't mean to change the tyres, that was not intentional. And the main colour, we can have standard, we can have blue power, sort of metallic -y, dark blue, we can have the Fiat Agri red, or we can have black. I'm going to go with Fiat Agri because it will match up with the tyres I went with just because just because. Um, and then we got options of Michelin, Mitres, Noc Trelleborg and Nokians. So under Michelin we've got standard, wheel weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins, back to standard. Um, under Mitres, standard, wheel weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins, back to standard. Uh, then under Trelleborg we've got standard wheel weights, wides, widen weights, rear twins, twins, narrows, and back to standard. So with the Trelleborg you get narrows on that as well on a T7 which is quite handy, uh, the others you don't, and then un under knocking you just get the communal tyres. Uh, then design, we've got standard or blue power, so if you do go for the blue power option and that changes the seats inside for a little bit more, for grey trim around the outside. Um, but if you're going to go for a standard one, you probably don't want to. Then you've got seat monitor inside. You've got the choice of having no, or you can have a monitor just to your right of your seat for an extra grand. Uh, then we've got PTO. We've got standard. Then we can have with front PTO. Engine setup T7 165S, 165 horsepower. 195S, 195 horsepower. 215S at 215 horsepower. That's the largest it goes up to, then we're back to 165 again. Um, and then we've got front loader attacher, yes or no. And then fenders, we can have standard or wide. If you go for wide, it gives you the main colour across the whole fender, wheel arch. Um, with standard, it gives you the smaller one with the, the plastic bits to it. So, depending on which you want to go for, and obviously it moves the lights right the way down to the back, like so. Uh, those are your options available. Sounds nice, runs well, handles well, horn, beacons, lights will cycle through. Uh, this does have, I'm trying to think, it's on the left stick, I think, is uh, L1, R1 and left stick. There we go. So L1, R1 and left stick side to side opens and closes the door. And then right stick up and down opens the rear window. So those are both on L1 and R1. There's nothing on R1 on its own. I should say R1 on its own, L1 on its own, but L1 and R1 is where you get the options for door and rear window. Like so. In cab, nice, neat and tidy. I went for the one with the um, screen. But yeah. Not bad at all in here.
I like it. Um, so there we go, that is the New Holland T7S series by Blauer. I'm going to use this because we're moving on to the next of the mods, which is this. This is the Lizard SABDF. This is by JA Modding and Pedro Azvedo. Azevedo? Sorry if I said that wrong. Azevedo, I think it is. Pedro Azevedo. Um, this mod is a plough that fertilises at the same time. I think it's only a 2.6 metre plough. Um, but with fertiliser hoppers above, so as you plough, you fertilise. Rather handy. Very solid, chunky construction. Not much to go wrong, let's be honest, with a couple of fertiliser tanks on the top. Um, this you will find... Now, I thought, oh, it's under ploughs. Of course it will be. I think it was under fertilising. Under fertiliser technology... There we go, the SABDF, 14,500 to buy, requires 100 horsepower, which for a plough isn't too bad. 2.6 metres, uh, it will run at 10 miles an hour. Um, and this will use, how many slots was this? Nine slots. Uh, there are no options available, you get it in the black, it comes in. So what we'll do... Here's what we'll hook up. Open the cover, L1, and left on the D-pad opens the cover for when you want to refill your tanks. 1,420 litres of fertiliser it will take. So it's one of those situations, again, if you want to just set a worker off doing some ploughing of a field, but the fact you can fertilise at the same time. See the fertiliser coming out of the side? Ah, oh, now that's interesting. Why is that not ploughing then? So... That's odd, because it definitely says in the mod hub Fertiliser Furrier that when you work it will plough your land and fertilise it at the same time doing two consecutive jobs but it's not ploughing, it's cultivating <sighs> That'll teach me to test it because it's another one ones I thought, well that's straightforward isn't it? It's just going to plough and it'll fertilise at the same time but apparently it's cultivating Now I wonder whether or not, and at 10 miles an hour, that's pretty pretty nippy as well. Um, but anyway, that is the uh, Lizard SABDF by J.A. Modin and Pedro Azevedo. Um, what I will do is drop that down, take that off, and we'll move on to the next of the mods, which is this. This is cra the Craner, Craner uh, 2700, this is by B, Gamer003 and Bergmeister, Masty, Meister, it's not M. A, and not M-E-I, it's M-A-I, which has thrown me. I think it's just Meister, but... So, this is a small slurry spreader. Um, 2,700 litre slurry spreader for small farms, small fields. But this has got a bit of a trick up its sleeve. It's a little bit like the... Uh, was it the Valzelli Cubex we had recently? We've had a couple that have had like a, a cannon, a poo cannon on the top. Now, you can have this in the version where it just spreads normally, uh, and I think this spreads out to, I'll say 9 metres, but I think it's 6 metres. 6 metres, or you can have it the Canon version. Now, it has the Canon on both. If you hire a worker, one will spread, one will use the Canon. Now, the reason behind that, according to the Mod Hub, is that it can be used on mountain farms and areas that are difficult to get into. Um, hence why I put twins on this, because it gives you a much more stable platform if you're going along a hillside that's quite steep or a mountainous bit of terrain. Um, because if it is tricky to get to, that will fire the slurry out over a large area um, for bits that that normally wouldn't be able to get to, or the tractor might not be able to get to, which I think is quite a clever idea, that. Really nicely detailed mod, this. Loads of detail on that. Very nice indeed. I went with one of each just to show you them both working. Um, so what we'll do, we'll hook up to the front. Now, with this though, I'll open up the help menu. Because you can still move the, the cannon. So if I do L1 and right stick side to side, the, the, the poo cannon will still move. Um, if I hire a worker, this one is the one that just spreads normally. Now, if I do it myself and turn it on, it will still do it. So, being able to move the um, the, the cannon on the top makes no, no different on, difference on that version. However, on the other one, as you will see, 
I should have just left that in the field. That would have been easier, wouldn't it? A little bit like the Valzelli. Um, this will go a little bit further. So what I'll do is hire a worker. Now, it's going a lot further. There we go. Now we're getting the thing coming up. So that actually goes out further than six metres. Same... Why is that still spraying? There we go. Same tanker, just the option of having the cannon, which means it will go much further out than six metres. If I do L1 and right stick again, we can move that nozzle. Hire a worker again. And it will shoot it out that way. Like so. So for a little, I'd like a small one. So I like the idea of it being able to um, work on the side of a hill and that kind of thing. I think that's brilliant. Um, these you will find in the store um, under slurry tanks. There you go. Lizard Craner 2700. 3400 to buy, so pretty cheap too. I know it's only got a small tank size, but if you're running a small farm setup, it's not too bad. And it only requires 30 horsepower as well. Runs at 10 miles now. We'll do slurry and digestate. Um, nine slots for the first one. Not too bad at all. I think it's a brilliant bit of kit, that. Very nice indeed. So, moving on from there, we have got an interesting one, which I've probably given the game away anyway from the thumbnail. Because this, for seemingly... Again, this is another one of those ones that the mod hub is like, OK, great. <laughs> How very helpful. We've got another another decorative manhole no we haven't this is the manhole by uncle 3101 this is the second mod by uncle 3101 today this is a working drain soak away drain however you want to refer to it if i go up to and press circle we can open the drain cover now have you had this problem because i know i have if you have got a tanker and you're running cows or whatever you're doing and you've just gone round and you've refilled everything with water and you've got water left in it and then now you want to go and collect all your milk and empty your milk or you want to go and buy some herbicide or some liquid fertiliser or something like that and you've got water still in it you can't get rid of it the only way to do that is to reset your vehicle not anymore you can tip it down the drain that's what this is for um, now this will also allow you to tip down the drain various different things it does say it supports the following lit fluids water milk slurry digestate liquid fertilizer and plant protection protection products now your milk might if it's been sitting in a container it might have, you might have had a problem with refrigeration it might have gone off or you can run a whole narrative and you're having to tip away loads of milk or it's contaminated or something like that maybe that might be quite a cool storyline um Please be aware that in certain parts of the world, in lots of parts of the world, there are laws prohibiting you from pouring liquid fertilisers and slurry and things like that down a regular drain. Um, so <laughs> don't do it if you're at all uncertain what you're allowed to flush down the drain. But I've got a tanker here. I've got some water left in it and I want to go and move some milk now. So if I come over to it. Now that's not going into storage, that's just, I'm losing that. But it does say as well, you might have a situation where everything's full. It might be all your storage is full. You're not at a point where if you're running seasons that you can put anything out on your fields and if your cows are still going to produce, I mean, I don't know. There's all sorts of reasons why you might want to do it. Like I say, as a, as a tool for narrative, it's great. But I think the whole concept for being able to get rid of water, for me predominantly, is the main reason why I think that's a cracking mod that. That really is brilliant. Um, because it has been one of those things that the only option you had up to that point was just to reset your vehicle, which really doesn't have a realistic feel. It's like, you know, I don't know. Anyway, like that, when you're done, come up to it, close the lid, put it back on. Brilliant. Um, this you will find under placeables, um, under, I didn't put down where it was, I think this is miscellaneous as well. There you go, 2,000 to buy, that's all. One slot to place, and now the weird thing is, it says there, decorative object. It's not a decorative object at all. That has a purpose and a use. So, yeah, I don't know why it says decorative. But anyway, that's the Lizard Manhole by Uncle3101. Uh, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. Now, this is 
for all intents and purposes, this is a new mod. Um, and there's something important with this that you need to know, and this is also why I'm showing it. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not sure if this was out on PC already, or whether it's just come to console today, I'm not sure. Or whether it's new across all platforms today. But, this is the all-new 2021 NMC Scarrock, and it does say very clearly in the instructions for this that you need to, if you've got the original one, you need to sell your original one, delete the mod, if you want this one, of course, if you don't, then you don't have to install it, of course you can't, don't you, you can just leave your other one. Um, but you have to remove the old one if you want to use this one, otherwise it can cause problems. Um, and NMC have done a few mods recently where they've been revamping a lot of the mods they previously released. So whilst technically it is an update, this is, for all intents and purposes, an entirely new mod. Um, now. What you've also seen from the thumbnail, there are three in this pack. One I get, the other two I don't. You'll see why in a moment. Um, these two, you can remove the backs on and buy the backs separately. And it does say again in the mods hub that um, the Scarrock 2500 and 3500 series trucks offer a detachable bed capability with numerous attachable bed options currently in production and will be available at your local NMC authorised dealer soon. So, whilst at the moment there is the one bed you can have open or you can have with the fifth wheel attacher, they are working on a whole series of rear truck beds for this particular mod. Um, Colour schemes and options available on this look really cool. Um, there are three different bumper options. I think I did one of each on this. Um, we can have a light bar. We can have the... Um, I get it wrong every single time. My mind goes blank. We'll see when we get into the options. The words have gone out of my head. But we have got a 1,500 or 1,500. We've got the 2,500 and we've got 3,500. Um, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Very nice indeed. So, we'll have a look at them in store. Um, these you'll find under vehicles, under cars. So as you can see, we've got the 1500, 2500, uh, 20, yeah, 2500, 3500. The 1500 is only 30 grand. But weirdly, in here as well, and this, is, this is a typo. It has to be a typo. Probably left over from the previous version. Because the, the 1500 says top speed of 99 miles an hour. The other two say 74. But when I get into each of them, it says 99. So I'm assuming that's a typo in the in the store. Now each of these looks identical. Well, apart those two don't have a back on them. That one does. So if you want one that's not interchangeable, just you want a you standard pickup, you can go for the 1500. Now with the 1500... I think you're limited to the horsepower, whereas the next one's up, you can go a little bit higher. So we'll have a look at the Scarrock 1500 first, because that's the one that comes standard with the pickup bed. That's how it kind of comes as standard. Now, all the options on each of these is exactly the same, um, but I will just have a quick look. So, rim. We can change the rim colour to... There's a numerous array, and I would suggest have a look. The metallic ones, are, I meant to change it to the green go, like green go. Um, I think I went for metallic green on the one I got, but I didn't spot that until quite late, but I do like the green go. Uh, so main colour, I'm going to go green go as well, but you can change them like so. I think that looks phenomenal. Um, then design colour, you'll see about the design colour in a minute. I'm going to just put that on orange metallic I think nothing changes at the moment but you will see why uh, then we've got design so design we've got bumper one is the standard bumper bumper two a little bit more chunky bumper three big ball bar across the front then assets configuration we can have standard on the roof we can have the light bar beacon or strobe bar that was a word I was trying to think of strobes uh, so we can have light bar beacon or both or none at all <clears throat> and then we've got attaches standard and this is in the back so we've got a rear hitch on the back anyway but then we can have in the back in the truck bed standard or fifth wheel which puts the fifth wheel into the back like so then step configuration you can have a yes or no so you can have a step on it if you want to have a side step uh, then we've got the Scarrick 1500 we've got the 3.5 litre V6 which is 375 horsepower uh, we've got the 5.7 litre V8 at 400 horsepower, 
and then we've got the 6.2 litre V8 at 420. Now that's as high as that one goes. So the 1500 will only go up to 420 horsepower. Then we've got standard mirror, tow mirror, and then we can change the bars at the back. Now that is what your design colour is. So you can either have no or yes, you can have bars on the back and the bars will be whatever design colour you pick. Um, and then we'll set up, we've got rim one, rim two, rim three, rim one jewel, rim two jewel, rim three jewel on the back and then back again. Now with this particular version you can't have um, extended rear wheel arches for the jewels. Um, that only comes with the compatible backs on the other two versions. So again, it's going to depend what options you want to go for. This only goes up to 420 horsepower, plus you can't have the, the wheel extensions or the arch extensions to go over jewels if you decide to go for jewels. Um, but that would be entirely your choice. Um, so those are the options on the 1500. Now, as far as I can tell, the options on these two are identical. So what I don't understand is why one's 3700 and one's 45, uh, 37,000 and one's 45,000, because I can't see any difference. Now all the rest of the options that we've just looked at are identical. So the rim colour, main colour, um, now there's no option for um, design colour because the back comes separately. The design colour will be on that. Um, but all the other options are the same through bumpers, roof lights, um, step configuration, yes or no. The only difference with this is it starts at 400 horsepower, 6.6 .6 litre V8, then we've got 6.7 litre, I think it's a Cummins, I think, 450, then 475, and then back to 400. So 475 is as high as that goes, 6.7 litre V8. Um, Again, standard mirror, then we've got all the rim settings. Again, with this, if you go for jewels, you can have a back on this, which we can have a look at, which will give the option to put extended wheel arches. Um, so that goes up to 475 horsepower. It will run 100 miles an hour. Um, so when you go onto the Scarrock 3500, the options are exactly the same. Engine starts at a 6.6 .6 litre, 400 horsepower. 6.7 litre Cummins, 475, six, sorry, it's the 6.7 litre V8, and that's it. So that's also 475 horsepower. So I can't figure out what's different between the 3500, unless there's something really obvious I'm missing. I can't tell why you would pay an extra, what's that, seven, eight grand? Am I missing something in the cab? Is it slightly longer or I, I just I honestly can't tell. I've got all three, so I don't think there's any difference in length or anything like that. They do look pretty cool. Uh now as far as the backs go, these you will find um under tools, under miscellaneous. There we go. So the Scarrock backbed module 6700. The backbed module, I didn't put down what the slot count was on that. Um, there is a way to tell. Let's go to uh, least items. Let's find the beds. Oh no, so I can say one, isn't it? Of course it is, just to be really annoying. It's not going to be very high, whatever the slot count is. It's because I've got two of them, it won't give you what the slot count is. Anyway, options available on this. We can change the main colour, again, like we said before. Uh, design colour will be the ball bars, so if you do decide to go for ball bars, because they're on the back section on these. Uh, design, now this way you can have the wide fenders, so you can have the wider arches if you've gone for jewels. Bars, yes or no, is on this back section. And then attaches, standard, and again we can have the fifth wheel in the back if we want it or not. Those are the options that come with the module that goes on the back, and there will be more modules coming. So, as far as actually starting them up now, this is the 1500, so listen to the engine. That's got a nice kind of throaty. I'll jump out of that again, jump back in. That says 1500, 6.2 litre V8. I've got in that 99 miles now, top speed. Looks great. Can have a bed L1 and X opens the bed up at the back, it does have a tow bar.
suspension's been tweaked, all sorts of stuff's been done, it stops better. Um, now, this road bar looks great. Lights are insane when we go onto full beam. Absolutely bonkers, but that's cool. Inside looks nicely detailed. And that sounds great. But that's only a 420 horse only. It's only 420 horsepower. So that's the 1500. So if we're getting the 2500, now listen to the engine. And I don't understand this because that's a 6.7 litre V8. That sounds like a diesel truck to me. That seems to have lost its... I'm, not, I'm baffled as to what... I mean, this one's got the, the wheel arches across the back. Um, I just went for the strobes on that one, not the light bar. Uh, that's got the second bumper on that. If I want to detach the back... Just X detaches and off we come, like so. Go back on, hook it up. Boot opens the same on that as well. Trailer hitch, etc, etc. Also runs at 99 miles per hour, that's 375 horsepower. So what I'm going to do is just line up wheel to wheel next to the other one. Bumper to bumper. Oh, it's a little bit longer, isn't it? Maybe I'm not quite far enough forward. It is a little bit longer. Yeah, definitely got a longer bed on that. So, and this is the 3500. Let's close the bed. But again, it doesn't have that sort of V8 throaty rumble that the, that the 1500 had. Maybe it's sitting a little bit higher on the suspension. I'm trying to work out what's different. So we'll line up again next to the other one. See if we can see a difference. Maybe this is even longer. That could be why. Actually, it looks exactly the same to me. Yeah, I honestly. <laughs> I don't know. There's got to be something I'm missing. Um, but that's the 1500, that's the 2500, and that's the 3500. Again, different bumper on that one. Um, but I think they're really nice, and we'll see what other backs come out for these. Um, I apologise if I've missed any of the options. I don't think I have. Um, but again, it does say, please sell or delete the old vehicle before updating this mod. Um, new textures, new models, and basically a new mod. And that's it. I think I've got them all. That's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.